good morning, y'all. Uh, I have recovered, somewhat recovered, uh, from my physical therapy. Uh, last week, I overdid it, and I've pretty much done absolutely nothing other than be on YouTube, commenting on all these channels that I follow, uh... Because that's about all I can really do. Um, and um, at that point, I'm feeling better this morning. I have a doctor's appointment this morning. I'm going to go to it. But I wanted to uh, tell y'all about bartering. Okay. Uh, I've always been a really good barter, considering that my father was a wheeler dealer, uh, an entrepreneur. Uh, self-sustainable, you know, worked since he, you know, he, he was nine years old when he started working. Um, you know, was a, a master mechanic, and he could trade. And a lot of I learned a lot of good things from him as far as trading or bartering. <laughs> okay, so anyhow, I come across uh, a watermelon that was given to me by the uh, food bank and of course I don't eat watermelon um, I've never really liked it and nothing that I get goes to waste I, I give it to to my neighbors and my neighbor I've been giving him watermelons pretty much all summer long you know all summer long been giving him watermelons and um, he's a Navy uh, vet very nice man does some wheeling and dealing himself there, you know, and I, I I like talking to him. He's really down to earth on a lot of stuff. But anyhow, back to the part, bartering. So I left my cane up there in Oklahoma at my cousin's house, okay? And uh, I've been kind of having a few issues since I started the, uh, more so since I started the uh, physical therapy with my walking. I've been a little bit more on my cane to uh, help me with my balance until I uh, get to going. Once I get to going, it's like running downhill, okay? <laughs> when I stop, you know, it, it's going to hurt. Anyway, so we're, you know, I, I, I asked him, I was talking over the fence, and I asked him, I was like, Mr. James, I said, uh, do you happen to have a cane over there? that I could buy from you because he does a lot of yard sales and things like that too, right? And uh, he said, well, I've got my cane. And I said, well, I don't want your cane. I said, I'm asking, do you have one for sale over there that I can get from you, you know, kind of cheap? Uh, of course, because I don't have any income and I'm going to have to ask my son for it, right? And um, he's like, well, let me go look and see. Well, he had come out with this very nice solid piece of wood cane very nice cane hold on a minute here hold on I'm, I'm gonna show it to y'all okay well here it is decoration my grandson put that on there for me <laughs> one solid nice piece of wood he had to cut it down because this cane must have been for somebody who was at least six foot tall because the thing come up past my waist. <laughs> but he put that on there for me. But yeah, so I bartered uh, a watermelon because he said that was payment due for the cane. God's little blessings. Just trying to be good. So, anyhow, um, that is my cane. A solid wood cane from one piece of wood uh, that I got from Mr. James uh, for just doing the right thing, really. And uh, I call it, you know, it was bartering. And uh, it wasn't intended to be that way. But it turned out to be that way, uh, that 
I took care of my neighbor and my neighbor took care of me. So just a little something to think about uh, with all you high and mighties out there who uh, don't think they're going to share or be good to another person, uh, you know, selfish individuals. You, you need to think about that. Uh, just saying. If you caught that, that was meant for you to catch. If you didn't, well, you, you didn't. You're a good person. Um, you know, you help others before you help yourself. You know, um, I could have just, you know, tossed the, the watermelon. That was an option for me. I could have cut it up and planted the seeds. That was an option for me. I could have refused to take it. That was an option for me. I could have given it to somebody at the food bank that was in line behind me. That was an option for me. I could have just let it rot. That was an option. But doing what's right by God is the only true option. And I gave this man these watermelons over the summer, probably about four or five, because you can only go to the uh, food banks, uh, the food bank here once a month. And um, that's just how it worked out. And so I was blessed in return with a nice cane. Just saying, keep on prepping.